In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make your smart contract updatable by using the adapter pattern. And before we continue, make sure to join the Facebook group of Eat the Blocks to discuss blockchain with me and other members of Eat the Blocks. So here's a typical use case of the adapter pattern in DeFi. There is an ERC20 token and you want to buy it in the exchange where you have the best price. So here you have exchange A and exchange B and they each have their own market with different prices and they also have different APIs. And so here in your smart contract, you're going to buy the token from the exchange that has the best price. So you could put all the business logic in your function invest here. But the problem is that in the future, maybe that new exchanges will come up and you also want to include these exchanges in the investment logic. But once you deploy your smart contract, this is too late. All the code here in the invest function is already done and you cannot change anything. So can we make our smart contract updatable? Yes, by using the adapter pattern. So we're gonna define another smart contract called the adapter to which we're gonna delegate the execution of the business logic. Here, this smart contract adapter is gonna import the interface of exchange A and exchange B. So in the constructor, we instantiate pointer to these two exchanges. Then here we have two function, a function to get the best exchange for a specific token and after a function to actually do the investment. So here in get best exchange for, then we call a function on each of the exchange to get the price for our tokens. So here we can see that we have different function name for each exchange. And depending on what is the best price, then we return the address of one exchange or the other. And after we have another function to actually buy the token from one of these exchanges. So here, if the target exchange is exchange A, then we create the trade with exchange A, otherwise it's exchange B. And here in our smart contract, we make use of this adapter smart contract in our function invest here. So first we approve the adapter smart contract to move our token. Then we get the best exchange thanks to the function get best exchange for. And after we call the invest function on the adapter contract and we pass it the correct argument. And where the magic happen is that at any point in the future, if in your adapter here, you want to add some new exchanges, all you have to do is to update your two function here, deploy a new adapter. And after in your smart contract, you're going to call this function update adapter with the address of the new adapter smart contract. And you don't need to make any change here in your invest function. The adapter smart contract deal with the interaction with all the different exchanges. But from your point of view, you are still interacting only with the adapter smart contract and you don't care how it carries out its job. One thing to keep in mind security wise. So in the example I show you, I am the one who actually deployed the adapter smart contract. So I trust that I'm not going to screw myself. But if you rely on adapter deployed by other person, then you need to verify that the code that they deploy at the new address is actually the code that they claim it to be because otherwise he, what they can do is just expose the same interface as before, but inside they actually have a malicious code that steal your token. So you gotta be careful about that. So I'll show you an example that is very specific to DeFi and token, but actually you can reuse this principle for many other applications. And next, if you want to keep learning some super cool tricks in Solidity, check out this series. I'll see you there.